Hello once again. Welcome to um, a tutorial about the PCMs and the computer modules. In the textbooks that we're using, this is a picture of the PCM. You've probably all seen these in your car. And as you can see, there's a shield around it to protect it from heat, to protect it from vibration, and obviously any liquids. All these wires from these connectors, you can tell, go back to the sensors or the proper, obviously, systems that they need to. So this is an overall view of the outside, the external part of the ECU, the PCM, regardless of make or model. This is usually what they look like. Where are they located? They're always located under the hood. Sometimes by, uh, uh, by the battery, sometimes uh, on the right, on the left, but it's easy to distinguish and to find these PCMs with all these wires coming out. Now that's the external part of it. The internal part of it, as I described one time, this is a rough layout of a PC board. So these little components are resistors, capacitors. These square ones are chips. Now you remember one time when I brought a board, a PCM board, to show you what this is referring to. So this is pretty identical. This is not obviously the exact thing, and this is not a PCM, but these are the same components that are in the PCM. So these chips, these square ones, could be these, or these, or these. Now sometimes they have more bigger ones inside the PCM, see this this is where the actual microprocessor would go on it has like 200 pins so the square ones are chips i was asked what about i was asked actually are the square ones the chips not necessarily sometimes they're not square all around but they only have pins on one side and two sides not necessarily on all four sides so these are also chips and the small ones are resistors, capacitors. These are capacitors, the brown ones. And usually the, the resistors have, if you can see it, these usually have the value of the resistance on it. So that's what that is in a short nut over here, what the picture is in the layout. So that's what's inside of it, these type of components again. Obviously to say, unless they're going to pay you for two, three hours of work, which many people do not do not pay to have this type of component level fixed nowadays, just scrap it. You could do a visual that I'll show you to uh, reflow things that I'll show you one time, but to have a bench tech sit there, like in olden days I used to do two, three hours and to pay for it, it just doesn't pay, doesn't pay the, the, the owner or the boss to do that. Now let's move on to this thing. As we said, this is the PCM itself. This is a rough, rough, this is the outside of it, okay? This is again the PCM board. Bringing your attention to the connectors this time. We saw the external, we saw the internal of the components. When we test something, when we test something, right? We try to get in, into these pins, these terminals that are in here. So this would have one connector, two connector, three connector, four connector, as you can see. Obviously there's multiple, multiple wires going in with different colors. How do you find the right ones? You look for the colors. Another way is that I'll show you when we're gonna go under the hood and you're gonna see exactly what I'm talking about. Like I said, the weather is really, really starting to change and it's nice outside. You're going to see the pin are numbered according to the terminals. You cannot see this. This is obviously a pictorial. There are actual pin numbers on the terminals, but you have to take off these terminals, these connectors to see that. If you do not take these off, you will not see the pin numbers. So going by color code is a little difficult sometimes. So let's say... This and this example over here, a back probe. Back probing means we try to put the pins or these probes to try to stick it in into these pins or these terminals as close as we can to make an accurate measurement. Now let's say there's a mass airflow sensor over here that we're gonna do, like I said, we're gonna measure it and you're gonna, you're gonna have three pins, mass airflow. 
okay? You're going to have a B plus, you know. You're going to have a ground. And you're going to have a signal that goes back to where? To him. Back to the PCM. Okay? Let's say this wire, this signal wire, which is the middle one, will say this is one. Oops, this is two. And this is pin three. Number two is the one that goes back to the PCM. Okay? So that signal is going back to the PCM. Let's say I go to the PCM and I back probe it and I don't see anything. I go to the mass airflow sensor directly to this one to see if I see anything and I see something. So I see something here. I don't see something over here. Let's say this strand over here. Again, you'll see this much, much, and you'll understand much better when we do it outside. Let's say this, this one is the connector going to this one, pin two. We have the signal over here, okay? We're not gonna get too deep what type of signal because you need a scope and all that. I don't wanna get too deep into that. But let's say we have a signal over here. We lost it over here. That means from here to here is a connection, a wire from here to here, right? From here to here is a connection. Now, how would I, let's say, obviously, if I have it here and I lost it here, there's a break somewhere in between. Now, remember, this wire can be a lot of feet long. What technique can I use with a multimeter to measure from here all the way till here and see where the break is, if it is broken? You're going to put this multimeter on continuity or a beep sound that I'll show you. You're going to put one probe. You see this probe? We're going to put one probe over here. Okay? One probe over here. Make it the red one, the black one. We're going to put the other probe, the black one, on the point that we're measuring, which is this wire. So from this wire to this wire, we're going to have a meter measuring continuity, which means this wire, if this wire is connected and intact, we should have continuity or zero ohms or close to it, or we should have a beep go off. If this is open from here till here, which we believe it is, we're not gonna have continuity. It's not gonna be zero ohms. So you're gonna go across from here till here, measuring resistance, we should measure zero ohms. That's how you find out how the wire is broken. Now let's say we want to make sure we're on the right wire. Let's take a different case. B plus, pin one, I designated as the B plus, which is the five volt line, okay? This is the five volt line, let's say. Coming from this, coming from him, okay? Now, I look for all the wires that go to mass airflow sensor B plus line or five volt line. I'm not sure if I'm at the right one. What I do is, again, the same type of test. Same type of test that you'll see that I will show you uh, hands-on. Again, put an ohmmeter test. Same thing applies. Put one probe over here. Put the other probe at the point that you think is connected to this one. If this point is connected to this one, then you should have continuity or zero ohms. If you do not measure continuity <coughs> excuse me, from here till here, you're at the wrong point or the wire is broken. So that's a good technique of finding out, is this point the correct point and uh, over here to this point? Remember, there's like 200 uh, 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 wires over here with connectors going to this. As I showed you the picture, you want to make sure you're on the right one. If you don't, you misdiagnose. If you actually think that the PCM is the problem when there's a break from here, let's say, till here, and you say this is the problem... That's, that's one, one terrible mistake to make. Again, how about maybe if the, the, the connector itself is the problem? How would you know that? Take out the connector, measure continuity from the connector itself to this. And I'll show you everything that I'm talking about. Exactly, like I said, you'll see it, you'll understand it. This is just theory. This is not practical until we do it, until I show it to you. Okay, I just want to introduce to you the ideas of what we'll be doing, okay? That's the best way to do it, and that's a technique I'll be using for years, and hopefully 
you'll understand that what I'm talking about. So I hope this was helpful. You saw the external a picture. You saw the internal of components that might be in this PCM. They all are the same. And you learn how to measure continuity in theory. But theory is not enough. We have to do practical. We have to go there. We have to see. And you have to understand it when I do it with hands-on. So thanks for watching. Please go to my channel, Joe Electronic Schematics for Auto. Please check for other videos on that channel, Joe Electronic Schematics for Auto. If you don't see anything over here on one video, please scan the channel and maybe you'll see the video that you're looking for that, that you are interested in. All right. So thanks for my uh, other channel, Automotive Electronic Schematics for Joseph, which got, just got monetized um, yesterday. Thank you for that, for the viewers for that one. After those two channels, I'm going to do something entirely different from electronics, a different field. But thank you so much for your support.